Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. I've got something really cool today from iStorage. It's the DiscAssure Pro 2. It's a pin authenticated portable hard drive, so it's not just any hard drive. Let's get it out of the box and see what it's about. <laughs> There's just some packing and uh, the owner's manual, warranty information, and then of course the unit. And it is sealed up here in some bubble wrap, so we'll get that open. And it comes in a very nice case with a zipper and a little handle there. And there's the unit. So here's what the unit looks like up close. You can see it's pretty much palm size, fits right in your palm. Uh, the keypad is very nice. The buttons all have a nice smooth click to them. We got some LED activity lights there and on the side USB cable. That is a little bit on the short side so whatever you attach it to will have to be close by. And then it locks in here to the side and it snaps in we got some rubber feet here on the corner so that when you set it down on a table it's less likely to less likely to slide around now the shorter USB cable if you need something longer they've included this as an option uh, it is something that you would purchase separately but if you do need a longer USB cable they are readily available if you need to extend uh, the connection from your hard drive here to whatever device you're connecting it to. So now we will do the first time plug-in. Instructions tell me that it will do a uh, self-test. So we'll plug it in for the first time and we see the LEDs going through the sequence. solid red and then we are ready for the first time uh, entering the pin and it says the default admin pin is 11223344 then push unlock so we'll do 11223344 then we hit the unlock button it does some flashing there Green and blue will ultimately flash, then we'll go to solid blue, and then changing to a blinking green, and finally to a solid green, which is what we have. Good. So when we look at the screen here on the computer, you can see it shows up 500 gig. Double click on it, and it does say in the hard copy uh, instructions that come in the box that there is the user manual that is stored on the drive and there it is. So all the information you need about how to use this drive are right there. Now when you're ready to disconnect it, a couple different things that the instructions talk about. One is you can just hit the lock button here, but the instructions actually recommend going into your operating system down here and then ejecting it. and then wait for it. There you go, the red light. That means we're ready to disconnect the drive and uh, unplug it. So now I will transfer a handful of video files uh, through the solid state drive, which my operating system is on, through the USB 3.0 port, and we'll look at the speeds. And we ramp up and stay pretty consistent through the whole transfer. Next, I will copy the same files from my FreeNAS server to the DiscAssure drive, and we'll look at speeds there. And again, we ramp up to very close to the same transfer speeds. And now I will move a folder with just under 3 gig 
of many small files to give you an idea of the transfer speed. And again, this is moving from the solid state drive to the disk assured drive through the USB 3.0 port. A lot of people like to do the uh, disk benchmarking, and that's fine, but I like the real world numbers here to give you an idea. And of course, we are moving a lot of small files, so the transfer speeds are not surprisingly slower, which you will find with moving this kind of data from one drive to another. And the speed picks up a little. Again, this is a little under 3 gig, an idea of the transfer speeds. Then it drops down a bit, and then it picks back up. So this should give you an idea of, of what to expect with a lot of small files. I'll just let that continue. I decided to try the drive on another computer, and I got very similar results on the uh, write speeds to the disk assure, but then I realized I didn't do any reads, so now I'm reading from the disk assure and copying to a regular hard drive and let's see what kind of speeds we get. Whoa, that was pretty good. Over, just a little over a gig a second. And now I'll try copying all of the small files and see what kind of speeds I get. I would say that's considerably higher than what I was expecting. It does drop off but we're still much higher than the copy to the disk assure from a drive. I would say the read speeds are pretty good. So I decided to go ahead and run the Addo Disk benchmark and uh, the numbers here uh, are really no surprise about what I expected to see. The feature set is rather extensive, and to do any of these items justice uh, would be very difficult to go into the degree of detail and depth uh, that would be necessary. So I suggest you go to the iStorage website and look up the Disk Assure Pro 2 and get more information there. Most of this stuff is covered in, in more detail uh, on the website, so you definitely want to check that out. And I don't want to forget to show you this. If you want to keep your hard drive happy and clean, it comes with this really nice case. Smooth and soft on the inside, rigid on the outside. Just put the drive in there, zip it up, and you're good to go. The Disk Assure Pro 2 is a nice little portable drive. I had no issues getting it set up. I followed the instructions and everything worked just like they said. Uh, I do recommend on this drive the PDF document, the, the user manual, is stored on this drive. Uh, you want to go through that so you can see what the features are in, in more detail, uh, get them set up properly so you can take full advantage of what this drive can really do. Uh, transfer speeds for data I thought were just fine. Now, I was using USB 3.0. It is USB 3.1 capable, so I'm sure a USB 3.1 connection would uh, have transfer speeds that would be even faster, but I had no issues at all. Capacities, this particular one is a half a terabyte, which is 500 gigabytes. It goes all the way up to five terabyte in the standard hard drive version. There is a solid state drive version that only goes up to four terabytes. Pricing, uh, this particular model at 500 gigabytes is $250, which seems a little salty maybe uh, for just a, a portable drive, but it's not just a portable drive. It is a secure drive where your data, uh, the integrity of your data is secure and only you can access it. Small price to pay, though, for that kind of peace of mind. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.